Okay, so another video for you guys. This is an HP 640 G2. And one of my kids had a little mishap with it and busted the LCD screen. So we're gonna replace this LCD screen. I bought another one here from Amazon. I'll pull it out in a minute. It came with the screen and the kit. I'll put down in the description the uh, link to the screen so you can buy the one that I bought. It comes with the tools and we're gonna replace this. So uh, let's get going. So pulling out of the box, there was a bag inside a bag. So I've actually bought a screen from the same company before. If you've watched more of my videos, you'll see that uh, my kids are incredibly unlucky when it comes to laptop screens or very irresponsible because this is the third laptop that I've had to replace the screen on. So I did buy the glossy screen. Looks like there's a protective cover on here. And one thing I'm noticing right away is that this screen here doesn't have a ribbon. It has the connector here. So in the tool baggie is an X-Acto knife with a blade, a pair of metal tweezers, a Phillips Zero screwdriver, and then one of the tools to remove the uh, plastic coating here, the plastic uh, trim. So these are the tools that we're going to need. We'll put those aside and we're going to have a look at the laptop. So I'm starting by flattening my screen. I'm going to look around the trim here because, because this did not have a uh, ribbon cable on it, I may only need to take the lap this out. I don't know if I have to open up the case, but it turns out that when my kid dropped this thing, it looks like he might have cracked this here. So, and this has already come undone, so this might be a benefit to me. Benefit, yeah, wonderful. When kids break in my stuff is a benefit. Anyway, so I'm gonna work my way around here. So at the moment I'm having more luck with the flat end and going like this. Nice malleable plastic, the the bezel here. It's you can really pull on it and it seems to be holding up okay, so that's nice. Plastic on the screen. There we go. So we got that off right there. This is going to be a nice straightforward job, I think. That's nice. All right, so now we're going to look at this here. So, so we're going to take those off with our screwdriver here.
Now when you lift this screen off, be careful because there's a ribbon attached to it somewhere. You do not want to bust that ribbon, right? I'm going to flip this just gently down like this. There we go. There's the ribbon. I'm going to try and zoom in a little bit here. All right, so this is where the tweezers and the um, X-Acto knife come in handy, right? You want to be able to, this is the plastic protector here. There's a plastic protector. So you want to be able to get that off without damaging anything. And when you look at this thing here, there should be little tabs or something that you can undo. No, not on this one. This one just pops out like this. It slides out like that. Be very careful. There you have it. Okay, so I'm going to take my broken screen here. Now when you do this, if you've got this, the one with the 768 display, make sure you buy the replacement screen with the 768 display. You can't use this to upgrade your display. If you don't have full high def, you can't go to full high def. So I'm going to put the new screen down like this, face first. Okay, face down, pardon me, face first, face down. It'll allow me to line this up nicely and snap it into place. So let's do that. There you go. There we go. Work both sides in. I don't know if you heard the little clicking sound there. That little clicking sound is it getting seated into place. There you go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully lift the screen up and I'm going to seat it into these spots. Oops, hang on. I'm just going to seat it into the plastic tabs, the alignment tabs here, so that it's in alignment. But I'm not going to screw it down yet. I'm going to just turn on my laptop to make sure it's working. There we go. We see that the screen's working. Now we're going to take our bezel, line it up here, carefully just kind of snap it into place as we go along. Don't be forceful with it. It will go. You may have to go around the perimeter twice. There we go. Oh, there's a spot there that's still loose. There. So like I said, you may have to go around it twice. There. Oh, one more.
there. And you're all done. This was a short and easy fix. If it wasn't for me stopping to take the video and realigning things so I can get it on screen and stuff, I probably could have been in and out in 10 minutes here. So there you have it. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my laptop to make this video. If this video helped you, please consider liking it. And uh, if you like the kind of videos I'm making, please subscribe. I might end up with another video that'll work for you or help you out with something because uh, it's basically I videotape stuff when I, um, I record stuff when I'm fixing things and then share the experience. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. And don't be a dummy like me and put everything back on and leave the screen protector on the LCD screen. So I got to take it off again and take off that LCD protector. Oh well. Thanks for watching.